everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Colby Covington maintains status as one of the best welterweights in the world. He is absolutely one of the best welterweights in the world. A lot of times people mistake the talk and the persona for Colby not being able to be a fighter. Colby Covington is a fantastic fighter and he will get in your face from the moment the official, or the moment the referee says fight, and the pace, and the cardio, and the work rate that he will push on his opponents is enough to break guys. Guys that are traditionally known as phenomenal cardio fighters like Rafael Dos Anjos melt under Colby Covington. He is a great fighter and a very, very hard worker. So here he is, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, DC, your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, undefeated 27-0. And history is certainly going to look back fondly upon what this guy has accomplished and puts that undefeated record online yet again here tonight. Usually at this point in your career, guys have made a mistake. There's been a hiccup. For Khabib, there has been no hiccup, no missteps on his way to becoming one of the longest undefeated streaks that we've seen in mixed martial arts history. And it's because the skill is so high in every facet of mixed martial arts. He has fantastic striking. He has unbelievable wrestling, coupled with his sambo and the ground control and the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov is second to none, one of the most damaging, dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is a man of principle, and no one knows better than you. There may be guys who work as hard in the game, but no one works harder than you. Nobody works harder. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with similar height and reach. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 15 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Kobe Chaos coming time! And now we can see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 28 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Imagomeda. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. So here we go with round one, Grappler versus Grappler. This was probably the wrong week for me to skip combat Sambo class, but what are your expectations for this one? I expect these guys to come together, man. I expect them to come together, and we're going to see some fantastic throws, and not only just fantastic throws, but just jockeying for position. Even though it may not look that these guys are doing much, the, the, the little details in the underhooks, in the clinches, in the foot position, head position, is gonna be very interesting to watch. Nice jab there by Covington. He's a guy who will wow you with pace and pressure, whether he's wrestling or striking on the floor. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's his calling card, right? His calling card is for him to really dictate the pace, really push the pressure on you, and hope that his opponents will wilt under the pressure that he brings. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. 
That one certainly found the target. Changes his stance. He'll see oh, a lot of this in the takedown now. So what do they say in the charge? Oh! It's in there deep. There you go. This is not as dangerous as it used to be in fighting. You know, before, guys are trying to sit in that full guard. Right now, it's just more dangerous for you on top because guys have so many submissions that they can attempt from this position. Under two minutes in round one. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. So the numbers continue to pile up. 30 total strikes have landed for Colby Covington. Takedown defense holds up. Look at those weapons. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Nermago Meta. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. Round two is here. Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Colby Covington. Nurmagomedov's punch to the body is blocked, so no damage done there. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, nice jabs. Big punch from the clinch. Covington gets the tight clinch here. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping the full guard. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Covington. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why. He's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Covington. Nermago Medov's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. I mean, how many can he take? Tighter, tighter, tighter. Under a minute now to go. Well, the ground and pound is.
has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nurmagomedov. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. A lot of good work on the ground. You knew, John, going into the fight, that if he was able to get this fight to the floor, he would have the most success. And you saw it in that exchange. He was able to get posture, land some really good ground and pound as the round came to an end. All right, next round is underway. We will see if he can pick up where he left off, particularly when it comes to the ground and pound. That was vicious. I mean, it was vicious. It was vicious. It was shades of... Habib Nurmagomedov versus Michael Johnson. Habib Nurmagomedov versus Conor McGregor. Just able to get to a great posture, control the feet, and land every single strike with vicious intent. It's hard to do that without losing your opponent. This young man has mastered. He has mastered. Down the All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, so good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's got to recognize this is dangerous. This is a dangerous position. Oh! on the elbow, and he's going to chase the submission finish. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Close guard. Nice stick with the right hand. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Nurmago Meta. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Nurmago Meta. Got the ground and pound going now. <laughs> Relentless pressure from the top by Covington. I mean, how many can he take? Fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. And that's gonna do him something. That'll do it. It's over. It's over. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 14 seconds of round number 3. The winner Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon. Amazing.